In continuing coverage, a chaotic weekend in Russia is over for now. It comes after the Wagner mercenary group ended its rebellion against Russian President Vladimir Putin. However, Ukrainian forces are taking advantage of the disruption. Greg Palcott has more from Kyiv. The Russian government scrambling to present a front of normalcy on Monday after a weekend that saw the biggest challenge so far to the rule of Vladimir Putin. The Wagner mercenaries are now on their way back to the front lines, while the military released a video of Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu visiting a base in eastern Ukraine. And back in Moscow, top officials urging the country to stand behind Putin. The consolidation of the entire society is important. We need to act together as one team, maintain the unity of all forces by lining up behind the president. The Russian capital was quiet on Monday after it was turned into an armed fortress over the weekend. Life is slowly returning to normal, but some residents say they're still unnerved by the unrest, and they're not sure it will be the last armed challenge to Putin. This might happen again, or it might not. Everyone is speculating. Everyone is confused. We need to understand what is going on exactly. We need someone to explain to us. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian military is working to take advantage of the disruption. New gains were reported in the east, and the Ukrainians appear to have crossed a key river into the occupied Kherson region. Soldiers on the front line say the failed mutiny presents a unique opportunity on the battlefield. The more we hear that they have conflicts, the more it raises our fighting spirit. We hope to win soon and that they will destroy each other over there. Russia says it's reaching out to allies like China and Iran to ensure their continued support for Putin's government. In Kyiv, Greg Palcott, Fox News.